As part of our BBB Wise Giving Alliance Building Trust series, we're here today with Mari Karaishi of Global Giving. Global Giving supports projects that cover a large scope of objectives. How do you balance all of the various projects? We believe that local organizations know what their communities need and whatever sort of shows up on Global Giving as a result of those people posting the needs is what we think the marketplace ought to be. We make sure that communities that might otherwise have a hard time hearing about us actually get to hear about us to have an opportunity to post their needs. How does global giving define success? Success for me is that when every single organization that we work with can sort of look back six months, 12 months, five years and say, because of global giving, we do our work better today than we did back then. In what ways does global giving promote trustworthiness among its donors? We promote our trustworthiness to the public, of course, by being a charity seal holder. And I think another dimension of trends is all about transparency. Are we transparent with our donors and other stakeholders when we mess up? I'd like to think we are. So the track record of explaining as much as we can why we do things, how we do things, and what happened afterwards is, I think, one of the best things we can do to promote our own trustworthiness. Why is it that you decided to co-found Global Giving? The reason I founded Global Giving is that I would be in developing countries and I would see these people in these local communities doing whatever it was that they thought would help make the lives of those people better. And they would be doing this in the midst of electricity outages, civil wars, typhoons. The fact that they got anything done, but sometimes also miraculous, amazing, brave things done, was just something I had to sort of drop everything and support. How has crowdfunding changed the landscape of philanthropy over the last few years? Philanthropy used to be perceived, if not in reality, something rich people do. When you have enough and you're sitting pretty, you can go out and start being a philanthropist. I think crowdfunding has made it very real to everybody in the world that they can participate in doing something for their community. You know, it doesn't matter how much, it matters that you did it.